Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over just a few of the items that I think you're going to need if you do decide to purchase the expansion pass, A Rift in Time. But before we do get into the video, if you would be so kind and subscribe to the channel, it would mean the absolute world to me and we are getting closer every single day to that 10,000 subscribers. And that is my all-time goal by the end of the year. So if we can do it, I would absolutely love you forever. And I will be doing a giveaway once we do reach 10,000 subscribers. So with the new paid expansion pack coming in just a few weeks time, I'm just going to go through a couple of the items in game that you may need to start saving for when the expansion pass does arrive. So I would start selling and farming your pumpkins as much as you possibly can over the next few weeks because you're going to need a lot of coins. As you know from the main valley, Scrooge is very, very expensive. He likes those high prices. And in the new expansion pack, there are such things as the Magic Wells. There's going to be a Shea Remis over there. And there's even going to be another Scrooge's store. So you're going to need to upgrade these. So get your coins, start collecting them. And the best way you can possibly do it if you've got the Forgotten Lands unlocked is literally farm pumpkins nonstop for the next couple of weeks. And you should be able to afford everything that you need to upgrade in Eternity Isle. Other things that I would start unlocking is maybe some of the recipes, food recipes, because we are getting three characters, which is Eve, Rapunzel and Gaston, and they are going to have their favourite items. So if you haven't unlocked all of the food recipes, maybe start going through and unlocking those. We're also going to be getting two other characters within this paid expansion. We just don't know who they are going to be just yet. I would definitely start unlocking some more of those food recipes. Other things that I would start preparing for is hoarding a couple of iron ingots and sticks and clay and things like that. We all remember how Minnie wanted all of that clay. So I would hoard, say, 50 of each of the resources in a storage box somewhere. I always keep 50 aside in my storage of each and every single resource. And then I start selling them if I've got more than that. So a hint there, just start hoarding a lot of resources um, in case we have any quests that require giving them some resources. I can't think of anything else that you would need, but I would definitely start collecting those diamonds and hoarding them over the next few weeks. Unlock some recipes if you haven't already done so. And I would definitely start building up your coins because you're going to need that to unlock Shea Remy's Scrooges and the Magic Wells. And I would also start collecting some resources of 50 of each resource that includes clay, iron ingot, wood, diamonds, that kind of thing. Just to give you a little bit of a head start when you do get to Eternity Isle. If this has been helpful to you, then please do give me a like and subscribe as well. It would mean the absolute world to me. If you have any other ideas of what we could be hoarding and preparing for, then leave your comments down below. It's just what I can think of at this moment. But I'm assuming there is probably so much more that we could be preparing for. As I said, if you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope you have the most wonderful rest of your day. And I'll speak to you all in the comments. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.